Welcome back to the second video of rule number two. Let's look at the dangers of navigation. Navigators must analyze the collision regulations and take action. The collision regulations don't allow navigators to follow blindly. Before applying the collision regulations in an actual situation, the navigator must check the dangers of navigation by complying with the rules. For example, bulk carrier and a container ship were on the head-on, and a container ship had a shallow patch on her starboard side. Following Rule 14, a ship with a shallow patch may run aground. This is a clear indication of the danger of navigation by following call rigs, hence a departure from Rule 14 is required. Now, let's look at the danger of collision. In the same example explained in the last scenario we have seen, instead of a shallow patch on the starboard side, let's consider a significant number of small islands or dense fishing traffic. Making a starboard alteration will increase the danger of collision. Hence, a departure from Rule 14 is required. Let's talk about the special circumstances. Deviation from the rules permitted in particular circumstances to avoid immediate danger. In restricted visibility, a power-driven vessel making through the water shall sound one prolonged blast at an interval of not more than two minutes. In the case of a man overboard in restricted visibility, the navigator is allowed to sound three prolonged blasts instead of one long blast despite Rule 35 specifying any sound signals other than for collision avoidance to be avoided. Here come the unique circumstances and the immediate danger of departure from Rule 35 in the restricted visibility to save the person in the water. Lastly, we can discuss the limitations of the vessel involved. In a situation where the knot under command is overtaking a power-driven vessel in a collision course, it's the ultimate responsibility of the knot under command, as per Rule 13, to keep out of the way of power-driven vessel. However, in the same instance, power-driven vessel must consider Rule 2B, the limitations of not being under command. Because of her exceptional circumstances, she may not maneuver or take action as required by Rule 13, which requires power-driven vessel to take action to avoid immediate danger with not under command. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more educational content.